a historically black college, Willie Gary wouldn't be standing here today at uh, Fort Valley State University uh, because for the most part, I was turned down by all the other schools in the state of Florida. And, uh, you know, and in many instances, even if you uh, qualified by their standards, because of the color of your skin, you couldn't get in school. So, I, you know, I think it's really important that all of us never forget not uh, the, the bridge that brought us over. Don't catch amnesia. Not a, you don't have the right to do that when it comes to supporting historically black colleges and universities. We have an obligation to do it. It's not about a choice. You don't have the right not to because, you know, but for them, we wouldn't be where we are today. Your professors, your teachers, your instructors, uh, they, were, they cared about the student. You were more than just a number. And I think we have them, and that's what you have uh, uh, in, in historically black colleges. You know, you're more than just a number. I mean, you are a person, you're a human being. And a lot of those professors, uh, and both black and white, they. They, they, they can, they understand the need to be more than just giving a contest, giving a, a test on, on, on what you learn or how well you can, you know, you can do this or that. It's about life. There's, a, there's the school of life. There's the game of life. And, uh, you know, just, it's good that at the historical black colleges, I think, that you have that. They, they were there for me. I mean, I ate a lot of meals at the uh, home, or homes of some of my professors, because uh, I didn't have a home to go to. I had no place to go. Sometime over the holidays when uh, everybody went home, the professors would invite you in and give you yard work, or give you something to do. You know, and so I had that, mm -hmm. and I think it made a difference. 